Hey y'all, it's Cody from Sleepopolis, and today we are gonna talk about some of my favorite natural sleep aids. Whether you're overusing prescription sleep medications or simply wanna snooze in a healthier way, this is the video for you. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Before we get into my picks, let's chat a bit about why you might wanna consider going natural with your bedtime routine. While there are a lot of over-the-counter medications designed to help folks slumber, there's some really big benefits to going organic. Number one, natural sleep aids tend to be safer than over-the-counter medications because they're not made with chemicals, which means they have lower side effects. That also means that natural sleep aids are safer for kids. So if you have a child that you know is a restless sleeper, these products are gonna be healthier for them than an over-the-counter medication might be. Natural sleep aids are also a lot more affordable than over-the-counter medications. All of the picks that I'm gonna chat about today are under $10, which means that they're not only more affordable, but also more accessible to more folks. And lastly, many of these sleep aids have been around for centuries, and that staying power speaks to their effectiveness. One slight caveat of natural sleep aids, however, is that many of them are derived from herbs, which are not regulated by the FDA. So, if you wanna try some of these out, you know, change up your bedtime routine, I highly recommend that you consult with a medical professional before you do so, just to make sure that you're in the clear as far as allergies are concerned. Speaking of my picks, let's get into them. I'm gonna give you a brief overview of each aid, going over its history, its uses, and what exactly it treats. Let's kick things off with lemon balm. Now, lemon balm is a member of the mint family and has been used to treat anxiety, improve mood, and induce slumber since the Middle Ages. And while sleep technology has advanced a great deal since the time of knights and feudal overlords, lemon balm remains a popular calming agent. And part of the reason why it's still so popular is because there's been a ton of research done to back up the relaxing claims. In fact, one recent study found that lemon balm wasn't only good at reducing restlessness, but also excellent at reducing anxiety. Now, you can take lemon balm in a couple different ways. As I mentioned, you can do a lotion or you can do a tea. And for me, I really like to take lemon balm in a tea. Um, you can use whatever brand you like that you find at a grocery store or pharmacy. And I like to put in my lemon balm, throw in some hot water, and let it steep for at least five minutes. I find with herbal teas, I like to let them sit for a longer amount of time so that the water really draws out all the benefits of the herbs. Um, and then I enjoy it about 25 to 30 minutes before bed. Um, I will say that lemon balm has a really like calm, subtle effect. It's not gonna knock you out or you know make you fall asleep immediately. But if you're in a relaxing state of mind, you're kind of mellowing out, it'll definitely help you on your journey to dreamland. Chamomile is another ancient medicinal herb that's been used for centuries. Um, a member of the daisy family, this flowery plant is packed with flavonoids that have been shown to relax the body and encourage sound slumber. Most commonly expressed in teas, chamomile is a highly accessible natural sleep aid and can be found in most grocery stores, pharmacies, and supermarkets. Um, and I like to take it just kind of like how I took the lemon balm tea. I set in a tea bag, pour over some boiling water, and let it sit for about five minutes or so. And as with lemon balm, I like to enjoy it about 20 to 30 minutes before bed. Of the two, I find chamomile to be a bit stronger. Um, and even if I'm not in a very restful place, I feel like it can get me into a really nice restful zone. And usually after I take it, I fall asleep, you know, in about 20 to 25 minutes. So if you want something a little bit stronger than lemon balm but still want to take a tea, I think chamomile could be the one for you. In recent years, Montmorency tart cherry has gained traction as a possible natural sleep aid. And why? Because tart cherries are rich natural sources of melatonin, a hormone that's directly involved in the sleep-wake cycle. And while your body produces melatonin on its own, specifically in the pineal gland in the brain, taking an outside source of melatonin and adding it to your body's own natural supply can sometimes help to improve sleep, especially for those who struggle falling asleep at night. And while all that sounds great, there hasn't been too much research done into tart cherry's direct impacts on sleep. However, a 2010 study did find that tart cherry juice was associated with statistically significant improvements in self-reported sleep among older adults with insomnia. And if you're interested in tart cherry and want to incorporate it into your bedtime routine, you can either drink tart cherry juice or take a tart cherry supplement like what I have right here. And of the two, I prefer the pills because I don't really like sugary drinks and I want something that's gonna interact with my body in a quicker way like these do. So unlike other sleep aids, tart cherry isn't gonna work immediately. Like if you're feeling sleepy one night, you can't pop these in and fall asleep immediately um, because your body has to acclimate to their effects. So you need to take them for at least two weeks before you feel any results. 
Kava, sometimes characterized as Kava Kava, is a crop of the Pacific Islands that has long been regarded as an effective natural sleep aid. Though historically popular among the native populations of Hawaii and some parts of Micronesia, the tropical plant has only recently started to be used as an herbal medicine elsewhere. Um, the medicinal benefits here are derived from the plant's bitter root, which is said to have sedating effects. Now, there hasn't been a lot of research done into this, but early signs point to Kava Kava as being effective at managing stress and reducing anxiety. And while you can take it in a couple different forms, the most common type are in these soft gel pill capsules, which have the herb packed in there. And you take a couple during the day for relaxation or at night for better sleep. And when I took these, I noticed a really subtle effect. I think it might be like the tart cherry supplements I talked about earlier where you need to take it over the course of a couple of weeks to really feel the impact. But I will say that from the moment I took them, I did feel like a nice calming sensation all across my body. Valerian root has been used as a medicinal herb since at least the time of ancient Greece and Rome. Over the centuries, it's taken on a lot of different uses, from cough-reducing tea to mood stabilizer, sleep aid, and even elf repellent in medieval Sweden. Apparently, it was very effective. But nowadays, most folks take valerian root tea to help calm the nerves and relax the body for sleep. And there's been a lot of research done into the root's health benefits, but there haven't been too many studies conducted into its direct impacts on sleep. However, a 2004 study did find that valerian root tea was excellent at quieting electrical activity in the brain, which was helpful for folks falling asleep at night. And you can take valerian root capsules or pills, but I prefer to take it as a tea. And basically what you do is you take a tea bag, you throw it in, put it on your boiling water. But as opposed to other teas that we've spoken about in this review, like the chamomile and lemon balm, you, ne you need to let this one steep for at least 15 minutes. That way all of the benefits really soak into the water. Um, and it makes it a really strong brew. However, I'd also say that it makes it a very bitter brew. So if you're someone who doesn't like a bitter, earthy taste, this is definitely not the sleep aid for you. But for me, it's definitely my favorite natural sleep aid because it's the strongest of the bunch. Lavender is one of the most popular medicinal herbs around as it's been shown to treat a myriad of different ailments, from topical burns to joint pain, bug bites, body tension, and yes, even poor sleep. In fact, recent studies have shown that the aroma of lavender is specifically good at interacting with the nervous system to relax and quiet the mind. And as far as taking lavender for sleep is concerned, you can do it in a ton of different ways. You can spray your sheets with a lavender spray, you can drink lavender tea, you can rub lavender body lotion all over your body, or you can do what I like to do and get some baking lavender, like the kind we have right here. This tin is so hard to open. Um, <laughs> and um, you can just take the lavender right to the face and inhale some of its scent right before you go to bed. So if you're looking for a sleep aid that you don't have to take or you don't have to drink, this could be the one for you. And finally, let's talk about passion flower. Native to Central and South America, this genus of flowering plants has been used for centuries to treat everything from skin boils to ear infections, restlessness, and stress-related fatigue. In our modern times, it's most commonly used to treat anxiety and insomnia. And if it sounds like something you might want to try out, you can take passionflower tea or you can take passionflower extract. And what you do is you take a full dropper of an extract, you can use whatever brand you like, and put it into a glass of water. Stir it around, let it sit for a few minutes, and then drink it either during the day for relaxation or right before bed to help fall asleep. Now, in my opinion, it has a really subtle, sort of mellow effect. Um, it didn't make me feel drowsy at all, but it definitely did help calm me down and reduce some of my anxiety. Well, folks, that does it for my guide to the best natural sleep aids. For more sleep-related content or educational resources, make sure to go to sleepopolis.com and subscribe to the Sleepopolis YouTube channel. But until next time, happy dreaming.